Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics M7700 Large Display External Meter. The M7700 is designed specifically for use with ICOM IC7700 radios, and features a backlit 4 and 3 quarter inch analog meter movement. This video series will help you get your M7700 up and running quickly, and is a supplement to the information contained in the M7700 Owner's Manual. We'll begin by taking a look at how to install the M7700. First, turn off your IC7700 radio. Now, connect one end of the supplied 8th inch stereo cable to the external meter jack on the rear of the IC7700. Connect the other end of the cable to the jack marked radio on the back of the M7700 meter. If the use of the backlight feature is desired, connect the supplied DC coaxial power cable to the jack marked 12 volt DC on the rear of the M7700. Turn on the backlight with the backlight power switch on the rear of the M7700. The brightness of the backlight may be adjusted by inserting a small flat blade screwdriver into the backlight potentiometer on the rear of the M7700 and turning gently. Before using the M7700 for the very first time, it is advisable to adjust the zero and full scale readings of the meter, as they may have been affected in shipping. You should use a small flat blade screwdriver to adjust the meter zero. This is done while the radio is still turned off. To adjust the full scale reading of the M7700, first, turn the radio on. Next, press the exit set button several times to take you to the top level menu of the IC7700. Next, press the F7 or set button to bring up the main setup menu. Press the F2 or ACC button to bring up the accessory menu. Using the F1 and F2 buttons to go up and down, select external meter level. Now rotate the main tuning dial clockwise until the meter level is at 100%. Press F1 and then rotate the main tuning dial until V sub D is selected for external meter output. Press the second soft button on the left to select something other than V sub D to be displayed on the internal meter. The M7700 needle should rest on the center tick mark between 44 and 52 volts on the V sub D scale. If it does not, insert a flat blade screwdriver into the FS potentiometer on the rear of the M7700 and adjust it until it does. The M7700 is now set up and ready for use. Normally, signal strength is displayed on receive and a selected parameter is displayed during transmit. To use a different meter display parameter, use the accessory menu as before and select the desired parameter under the external meter output setting. That's it! Be sure to read your owner's manual and enjoy your new M7700 external large display meter.